Rule 530, what would prompt a normally gentle dog to attack a child? That's what a Coriopolis family wants to know after a dog attacked a five-year-old boy so severely he had to have surgery. Mary Rob Jackson joins us now with more. Mary Rob. Thanks, Christine. What does make a dog attack, even if they've never shown aggressive behavior before? Well, a dog trainer told me that it's much like a bad day at the office. You go home, you make dinner, your husband doesn't like it, and he leaves the table to go watch a hockey game. It's just one too many stressors. You boil over, or maybe you don't bite him, but you sure feel like it. Something like that happened with a pit bull last evening in Coriopolis. Tyler Williams has the face of a cherub, but last evening as he and his aunt went to feed her boyfriend's pit bull, the dog attacked. I was at my house upstairs, and uh, there's a window there, and uh, she was just screaming, help, help, and, and stop, stop. The five-year-old's face was horribly mauled. The male pit bull was kept chained in the fenced yard of the house on Birch Way. No one is clear on what set the dog off. He had never attacked before. And I hear these stories and it just breaks my heart because it doesn't have to happen. Okay, over, go over. Barb Levinson, really who has been training yeah. dogs for nearly 30 yeah. years, right. says all dogs bite over. if the right buttons are pushed, but that some breeds, like pit bulls, have been genetically programmed for aggression. And unless you do something to counter that programming, then that's what you end up with. Another problem is keeping a dog chained up for long periods of time. Most of these dogs who are left unchained have had virtually no socialization. Barb Levinson also believes that no dog attacks for no reason. And then we take a stranger coming in the yard. On this chart, Barb describes how dogs who are not desensitized by training can act out when confronted by too many stressors, like protecting their territory, nervous around children, someone reaching out. When all those stressors are stacked, you reach the bite threshold. But here, this is the trigger for bite. The dog is just way more than he can handle. Since it's not always easy to know when any dog is having a bad day, what's the bottom line? The bottom line is the adult who doesn't say to a child, you do not approach that dog. Now, concerning last night's dog biting incident, the little boy is still in critical but stable condition at Children's Hospital in Lawrenceville following surgery, and the pit bull is being held in quarantine at Triangle Pet, and Coriopolis police are still investigating. With a live report, Mayor Rob Jackson, KDKA, TV News.